Hi, and uh, welcome to Retro Eric. This is part two of uh, this summer's unboxing video. So I uh, started uh, off camera uh, by um, putting all the floppy disks I received this summer. And as you can see, it's a big pile of floppy disk. I would say it's about you know, close to 300 floppy disk here. Uh, most of them are actually uh, double side double density. And just uh, maybe a third of them is uh, high density floppy disk. I have looked through everything in all the boxes and um, mostly it's like uh, drivers or, or repair tools, things like that. So uh, there wasn't uh, a lot of stuff here. Uh, actually, most of them were boring. So I'm only going to keep a few of these floppies. I, I, I found a, a box of uh, unused floppies, two boxes of unused floppies. I'm keeping those. Um, I found a lot of software for AST machines. So I took all the software for, for the AST machines and I put them in this box here. Uh, here is just a handful of them. And it's like drivers, operating systems, uh, things like that. And uh, I think I'm going to call today's video uh, the AST uh, edition. Because most of the floppy disks are AST and also the machines we are going to take uh, up here and show you today, they are all AST machines. So I think we'll um, stop talking about floppy disks and uh, start uh, carrying up some uh, AST computers and uh, see uh, what they are, do they work and what's in them. So what uh, do we have here? Well, uh, the theme is uh, AST in today's video. And the reason for that is that we have two AST computer. I will bring them in after we finished uh, this pile. But this pile of boxes are all equipped with an AST logo. So I have uh, a slight idea of what it's uh, all about. But uh, let's just uh, look through it together and see what we find. First, brand new AST mouse pad, not bad. Uh, we have uh, a 386SX and a 486MHz uh, uh, use manual. I think they will actually be coming handy because I think they are related to some of the equipment here or maybe the computers. Uh, we have our AST fastboard upgrade kit and that's the um, uh, keyword that uh, made me believe what what I think are in these boxes. I think we will find upgrade adapters or upgrade boards for uh, the AST machines. So let's uh, look at that. Uh, we have our motherboard here. I think it's for the AST. Uh, so what do we have here? It's um, a 16 bit E side has our AST logo. Uh, it says, uh, what does it say? Not much, no. Uh, I don't think there is a CPU on this board. I think the CPU is uh, on a separate board. Okay, let's uh, put this aside for a moment and have a look what else we have. Here we are, also an AST logo. Uh, it looks a bit older, it has Intel chipset, but I don't see a CPU here. So I think it's the same with this card. The CPU is probably uh, to be put in one of these slots. Then we have our CPU card, I think it is. I think this is supposed to be in a slot, uh, not on any of the motherboards we just had a look at. Uh, but I think uh, it's a CPU board. Look at that. It's never been opened. It's uh, new in the plastic. Uh, the tie is still there. So yeah, 
brand new AST keyboard. That will come in handy if we get the computers to work. Yes, here we are. These are the boards that contains the CPU and memory. Uh, it says 386 CPU AST. It has some memory here. On this CPU it says 386 DX33. Uh, there's also a sticker in here. Oh yeah. This sticker I'm pretty sure will fit on the front side of uh, the AST computer and it says uh, 386 uh, 33. So I guess you could uh, also replace the badge on the computer when you replace the CPU board. Yeah, it's a CPU board from AST. Uh, actually it says 386SX on this one too. So this is uh, probably a board they uh, took out. Uh, we have uh, we have two board in this box. Let's see what it is. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, this is probably not uh, for the AST computers. It uh, I think this is a ISA bus. But I'm not sure. I it's so seldom I have seen this uh, that kind of bus. Uh, yeah, it says an ISA SCSI. HBA. Okay, so it's a SCSI card with the ISA bus. So we have two identical uh, ISA SCSI cards. Another card, it says uh, AST on it. Yeah, this uh, looks like it's also uh, fits the, the bus interface uh, that we had on these two motherboards we had a look at. I think this is a memory card, it's brand new, uh, no dust. I, this has probably never been into a computer. One more uh, 386 card, CPU and uh, RAM. It says 386 and it's uh, 386DX33. So then we have two of those. So, um, if I take a chance, I would probably say that uh, this was uh, also in one of the AST computers that we are very soon uh, having a look at. We have one more thing before we have a look at the computer itself. This is uh, for BIOSes. If I'm not mistaken, you have to use these when you change out the CPU, for instance, uh, from a 386 to a 486, you um, take out the old BIOS and insert this new BIOS. Then finally, we have a ride to a couple of uh, computers. This is uh, the first AST we're going to try today. It says uh, a Bravo 386SX 20 MHz. I've connected it to a keyboard and uh, power and VGA. So let's uh, turn it on together and see if it works. We can hear the hard drive spinning up. There is no life, so uh, let's open it up and see if we can find something uh, inside. Okay, there is no memory. <laughs> I didn't see that straight away. But uh, I guess uh, if we have no memory, it uh, won't uh, boot up, not even uh, with the uh, BIOS or anything, I think. So let's uh, try to give it some memory. Luckily, I have a lot of memory, so let us just try some of it. Voila, we have RAM. Let's try turning it on. Wow, we have a picture. Of course, the battery is failing, the CMOS configuration is failing. But we have two megabytes of uh, RAM. 
and it says video configuration error, CMOS error, memory size error. It's a lot of things. It says uh, that we should run setup. So let us uh, do just that. Wow, it's working. It's booting Windows 95. That's not bad. So the only thing we had to do was to give it some memory and run setup. Yeah, but we didn't give it a lot of memory. Not enough extended memory to run Windows, that's okay. I guess we just leave it here. We, we've uh, done enough for this video, we know it's working. Uh, the only thing it needed was some memory and even the hard drive is working and everything. So, uh, okay, we haven't tested the floppy drives or things like that. But uh, it's a good chance that uh, they are okay. We are now down to the last machine for this episode. It's also an AST. It's uh, 486-25 it says on the front. I've connected keyboard, monitor and power. And uh, well, the previous computer did not work at the first try. So let's try this one. While we wait for a picture, see how clean this is. It looks like it's never been used. On the outside, there is no markings, no dust. It looks like it came from the uh, production or the fabric yesterday. It's just, it looks amazing. We have no uh, VGA signal. So, um, we probably need to open it up and have a look inside if we're lucky it's only the memory that is missing like the other one if not uh, i think this model is the one where we can change the cpu cards so if this cpu card doesn't work uh, maybe one of the other ones we have works okay let's open it i have opened the machine and we can see there are some uh, Corrosion damages here on the front, on the top here, but the ones that I really don't like, you see, we have the battery here, and just below on the cables all the way on the motherboard there, we can see a corrosion. I put some vinegar at the corrosion and it's uh, bubbling a lot. So it's doing its job. Well, with the, this picture of uh, vinegar doing its uh, job on the corrosion, I think uh, we end uh, this unboxing video here. But we have uh, part three of the video and I promise you that will be the best part. Uh, as always, we are saving the best for last. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you like this video also like it and uh, see you in my next video.